Well, thank you, Tim. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is taking some steps now to clean up the city and hold property owners accountable, people who are not keeping up their properties. So abandoned buildings, parking lots that are littered with trash, other property issues will now be monitored by JSO's new blight abatement unit. Atia Collins spoke with officials today about this new unit and has more on the initiative. The blight abatement unit was created after JSO received hundreds of complaints for areas across the city. Places like here on East Union Street that are littered with trash and in need of attention. When Kevin Wanton drives down Moncrief Road, he sees drainage ditches filled with trash, abandoned buildings, and overgrown vegetation. The trash now is, is getting out of outrageous because now it just seems like people that's coming down Moncrief, they don't, they don't, they don't respect Mar Creep, so they just throw it out the window. He owns this shop on the north side and believes the problem hurts business. It affects the whole neighborhood, the whole environment. Yeah, the whole environment of the neighborhood, everybody around us. So I just pick up any trash that's around because I know it's going to eventually come back and it's going to make it look better over here. I have people that's come from all over. They, they come in here and I can't have trash everywhere when they're coming. So. In 2022, JSO received 297 complaints for properties considered a blight. Areas like here on King Street or here on East Union. JSO's blight abatement unit will inspect, map out, and develop plans for improvement. Wanton believes the new program will provide accountability. We're just waiting on uh, for it to start so we can see a better around here, man, and, and make the neighborhood great again, you know. Officers with the unit will complete weekly checks until the problem is solved. Anyone at home that has an area of concern can reach out to JSO. That information will be on this story at our website, firstcoastnews.com. Reporting, Atia Collins, First Coast News, on your side.